Hi guys and welcome to a super short tutorial of how to make a circle skirt. Uh, you will need an avatar and you will need a skirt. So first of all we need to make a waistband and we need to figure out how, you know, what is the circumface of the avatar waist. So usually I just go to the avatar, avatar editor and here you have all the basic parameters. So you just need to go down and here you see waist, circumface. Uh, from some reason I have it in millimeters, but you can always change it to centimeters. So for me, it's 60.9 centimeters. So just 61, I would say. Okay, I go back and I need to make the waistband. So I go to my polygon. I hold my left button mouse until I see a rectangle. And I go to my 2D window. I click with my left button mouse and it will show me my option menu. So the width I know is 61. <coughs> and the height, I think I will go for. So you can just choose whatever you like the best, okay? So that's our waistband. Now we need to sew it on the avatar. So usually I just use arrangement points because it's just fast. I click on my waistband and then I just sew it together with my free sewing tool. So click and... Oops, click. Now you see that I made a mistake, which I can very easily change by reverse sewing. Okay, and simulation. So, that's our waistband, super quick. Now we need to make the skirt. So, to make the skirt, you first need to make an ellipse. So that's by holding down again the button until you see ellipse or shortcut E. And you can just draw however you like with shift. If you don't hold shift, it's not, you know, the same. So I will just hold shift and yay, I have a skirt, but I don't have, you know, the whole inside. So how to do that? We will go to internal polygon. We will hold again and we find internal ellipse. We go inside our skirt and click with a left button mouse. And here you have different options. So either, you know, diameter, you know, radius. But actually the easiest one is just the circumference because we know it's 61 and we do OK. OK, now you see that the hole is not in the middle, which is easily fixed by transfer pattern. We click on it and when you hold it and just zoom over, you see the straight lines and you also see the four points. So it's very easily adjustable. So it's in the middle. When we are done, we just click on uh, the line and with the right button click we go to convert to hull yay super easy okay now we need to actually adjust the skirt on the avatar so we just click and with our gizmo we just try move it as correctly as possible okay okay Next thing I actually like to do before I press simulation or before I sew is actually change the pose of the avatar because now you can see that the fabric goes through the arms and that's just never good. So I will just freeze my skirt and I will go to my poses. Nope. Yes. And I lift the hands up. Okay. Nice. Okay. Now we need to sew the skirt to the waistband. So you just select your free sewing tool. And now this is just the tricky part a little bit. You need to find out where is the back, where is the front and how to sew it, you know, together. So it always helps me the most just to go close to the avatar. And if you zoom over your skirt, you see a blue line moving on your skirt as well, right? Okay, and the same with your uh, waistband. So I know I need to go this way. Nope, nothing happened. Cool. And this way. Okay, and now I can unfreeze. And something's gonna happen. I press simulation. Ooh, and my skirt fell down. That's because it's a lot of fabric and it's really heavy. So even though you have the correct measurements and everything, Claw just doesn't work totally the same as in real life. It's also because in real life you would actually fuse the waistband, right? So first of all, let's just strengthen it by Ctrl H. 
there's the first one but still it's gonna fall down okay so we need to click on our waistband and we need to go to our property editor until we find bond and sky and we want to bond it as in real life right and here you have a different options fusible common lapel non woven blah 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 I actually like to just work with the reinforcements on the color because it's most of the time it's really stiff. So we just click on that and now when we press simulation, ooh, we have a skirt. Nice. And now you can just add any fabric, you can add any color, red. And don't forget to put everything into particle distance 5. And just press simulation until it's correct please remember to subscribe hit a like and i will see you at the next short tutorial video on cloth 3d bye